It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hey, Ernie Johnson here, and I'm joined by Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. Tonight we'll see the Washington Wizards playing against the Hawks in Atlanta. Looking at the Hawks, they need some wins to start adding up here in a hurry. More or less half the season behind us, and they are still struggling to prove they can contend. The Atlanta Hawks in recent years, a new ownership group, a changeover in the front office, new players in key roles. How do you create continuity given all of those changes, Shaq? Well, it's not an easy thing to do, but with our good friend Grant Hill, part of the ownership group, I think they've done a good job, all things considered. Well, they have a consistent philosophy now. You know, a style of play. They draw and kick. They have ball movement, unselfishness. So you know how to trade better, you know how to draft better, and be definitely know how to coach better. Kevin Harlan is standing by as we approach tip-off. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave the land of the free and the home of the set to bring you NBA action. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by the talented analyst tandem of Greg Anthony and Chris Weber. David Aldridge is on our sideline. And for the Atlanta Hawks, they want to turn this season series around as they lost their last matchup against the Washington Wizards. So they win one, lose one. Things have been uh, pretty evenly matched so far. One of these teams has to step up. And they had a ton of missed opportunities at the foul line. That's always a game changer. It's almost like a field goal kicker missing after all the hard work is put in. It's just a frustrating way to go down. Well, the NBA has some great advanced scouts who know how to help a team prepare for an opponent. When you play, Chris, what kind of information would you be given with a team that was coming up on the schedule or the game that night that was important for you? Well, wow, my rookie year, I remember the first time I got a scouting, uh, the, the playoff scouting report, and I had to understand how many times the player I was uh, playing against would shoot over his right shoulder as opposed to his left shoulder and the percentage of the times he liked it on the left box as opposed to the right box. And really just knowing the guys and understanding their habits. And so you really need that. It gives you confidence because, as I said, you can't check one player. It's just so hard to do. So what do you have to do? You have to check their tendencies so maybe you can beat him to the spot that he likes before he can because if he gets there, he's just going to destroy you. Scouting reports are everything to understand your opponent and your opposing team. Did you keep, Chris, a, a mental notebook, or would you have a notebook that you would write in to keep track of these players, the guys you would face? I, I had a mental notebook. The teams would give us uh, physical notebooks, but I would just kind of read them and, right. and make my mental notes. You get to see guys so often that if you don't uh, kind of understand who a player is that night before you play them, it might be too late. <laughs> <laughs> and now Washington's starting group. Porter and Morris are the forwards. The explosive backcourt is Wall and Beal at the one and two. And it's Howard in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. They get it back. And boy, that looked like goaltending. Yes, it is. And so they will award the basket there. That's a very close call. I'm sure he thinks it's a clean block, but looks like it was on the way down. Washington shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. And really, the form at the line all season has been terrific. 79% as a team. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. Free throw no good for Howard. Well, Greg, for two straight seasons before this, the Wizards have had a starting five that all average double figures on the year. The engine of this offense 
I think is the back there. But they can all hurt you, don't you think? Uh, no doubt about it, Kevin. Uh, having a balanced offense like they do makes it tough for teams to prepare defensively. You can't just double or key in on Wall or Beal because they do a great job of facilitating. Uh, I think the bigger question moving forward is just going to be what will the... Oh! Oh! oh. Nasty. Nasty. You got to enjoy watching Wall take flight. He's a sensational dunk artist. And that last replay, courtesy of Under Armour. Another Unleash Chaos moment. Porter against Prince. Another miss by Prince. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Morris with the screen for Wall. Beal from long range gets the three-pointer to fall. Beal's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Lynn kicks to Deadman. Bazemore dishes to Lynn. Prince against Porter. Back to Lynn. That one's off. Still out of sync. And I like the bold move of going right back at him to return the three, but he just couldn't get it to go. Snatched up. Morris. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Wow. Morris is a physical guy. Solid at staying active on the boards and gobbling up these rebounds. Here's Lynn. Morris with the rebound. Looking at Washington, they took the win in their last game out against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. Beal can't get it to go. Not the tightest of D on them, though, but not the best of finishes either. The Hawks trail by five. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Collins, a screen on wall. Off the pick. And he comes off the screen and slams it through. And Lynn plays with a real edge. Uh, when he's driving inside, he looks determined to beat everyone to the basket. And Wall kicks to Morris. Down low. Here's Howard. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. For Washington, they have shot just one free throw. Missing that one earlier. First free throw is good. And the Hawks in the last couple seasons with some roster turnover, uh, established veterans departing, uh, and now with Millsap leaving, they have embraced a complete rebuild. And the Hawks making a change here. Lens checked in. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And the Hawks traded Howard and lost Paul Millsap in short time. So the rebuild, it would appear, is on for Atlanta. Yeah, and it seems like they feel good with how they've approached it. You know, you got to commit to turning things over and starting anew. And the Hawks have taken the first steps to building towards the future. Outside, Beal. Morris, left side. It's deflected. Now Bazemore. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Lynn kicks to Collins. Rebound, Washington. They want to keep rolling here, following the win against the Thunder. And anytime you come off the bench, you know your role. And that night, it was about scoring. Well, on the road, you need as many contributors as you can find. The reserves definitely help fuel the win that time. Offensive rebound, outside for Beal. Second chance shot, and that comes off the assist by Dwight Howard. Beal's got five. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Plan a screen. Wall against Land. Over wall. Here's Land. 
somehow ignores the tight D and gets the layup. Lynn's got his first two points of the night. And you just hate to give up those second chance points. Uh, it can be discouraging, frustrating, but you only have yourselves to blame. Box out. Here's Morris. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. The Hawks trail by five. Outside, Lynn. Lynn sets a screen for Lynn. Tries a three. Dwight Howard pulls it in. Howard's got six rebounds in the game. Quarter a screen on Prince. Screen by Howard. And Wall gets it to go in on the assist from Beal. Wall's got his second basket. Yeah, off to a strong start here early. Six points off second chance buckets. Len a screen. Bazemore passes to Len. Back to Bazemore. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. If you're going in amongst the trees, you have got to be aggressive. Well, look, when you're giving up that type of height, you use your quickness. It's just that simple. And it's also a matter of skill. Here's Howard. That one misses. And it's the Hawks taking it the other way. Defeated by the Hornets in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. And they couldn't get stops when they needed to. The opposition just too comfortable shooting the basketball. And that's what can happen on the road. You have to be aggressive and try to disrupt them out of their normal routine. Oh, just a solid screen to free them up. Makes the layup possible. Wizards leading by three. Outside, Wall. Here's Morris. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Used to say Marquise Morris was once a, a locker room distraction, but he's found a home here. He seems more at peace with the situation. He's putting up solid numbers at the forward spot. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. You talk to Marquise Morris about those times in Phoenix. He and Coach Hornacek still talk as they went their separate ways. Seems it was just a bad situation for everyone. Oh, yeah. When you're on a sinking ship, everyone will lash out. I'm glad Morris has put that behind him. And able just to concentrate on playing basketball. Looking at who's out there now for the Hawks. Plumley is checked in for Collins. Carter comes in for Torian Prince. Justin Anderson, he's checked in for Kent Bazemore. And it's Malcolm Delaney in for Jeremy Lin. Plumley sets the pick for Anderson. The Hawks working the ball around. It's stolen by Morris. And Sederanski kicks to Morris. Stolen by Lin. Here's Delaney. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. Five on the clock. Ball's knocked loose. It's stolen by Mahimi. Sadoransky, the pass to Rivers. Here's Sadoransky. There's the triple. Not going to go that time. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Carter kicks to Len. Takes the 13 footer. Here's Plumley. No good on that one. And it's Washington the other way. And here's Meeks. The rebound by Anderson. And Jody Meeks gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Wizards making a switch here. Green's checked in. The Hawks trail by five. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Len, a screen. Here's Delaney. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Atlanta needs to get off a shot here. Anderson, wide open, sinks the triple. There isn't any player in the league who's going to pass up that shot. There was nobody near him. Rivers kicks to Mahimi. They kick it out to Green. Over Plumley. Here's Mahimi. Launches it. 
Rivers can't get it to go. Atlanta's gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. Anderson's shot is off. Washington shooting a lowly 30% to start this game out. Sadaransky the pass to Meeks. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And Chris, when you played, you were known as a guy your size who could rip and run, take it coast to coast. You look around the league now, who are some of the best big men ball handlers? Oh, you love it. If you get that board, you got to be able to take it, speed up the offense. We've seen Draymond just, just have a field day doing it with all the players on his team that can knock it down and score. Blake Griffin, uh, Anthony Davis. Uh, we've even seen Paul Millsap and Julius Randle do it a little bit. So uh, I love the fact that if you can get that board and push it, uh, it makes it easier because you don't have to look for the outlet. You can actually find that point guard, that two guard in transition and let them score. and You be the facilitator. And he makes the first. A lot of history here with the Wizards and Washington. A lot of great players have worn the jersey yourself, including Chris. Do you, do you have a favorite Wizard or bullet player you like to watch? Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, I, I did. Uh, Juwan Howard. I, I loved watching him go to work in that great All-Star season that he had. Uh, Wes Unsell, he's had a huge influence on so many bigs. Elvin Hayes, I mean, his name is all over the franchise record book. Uh, so many players. John Wall now. Delaney kicks to Anderson. Len sets a screen for Anderson. And Anderson slams it in. And a sturdy screen set for him that time. And he doesn't fool around just straight to the rim for the fence. No way for his man to get around that one. That's that's for sure. You're right. They are precise in how they ran that play. Exceptional timing. That's all good stuff. That free throw good from Anderson. The Wizards with the lead. Now let's send it over to David Aldridge who was able to talk with Mike Budenholzer. Yeah, Kevin, we talked about their primary defensive concern in this game. He said, we don't want to go up and down the court. Those guys finish as well as anyone in the league. We have to turn this game into a chess match and close off all openings along the way. Battle of X's and O's tonight, Kevin. Okay, David, thanks. Washington is gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Feeds to Mahimi. There's the three. Rivers can't get it to go. And they have a narrow edge here in rebounding early on. And you wonder what kind of a role that's going to play moving forward. Anderson can't get it to go. Washington shooting well off their usual numbers around 29% so far. Hawk shooting to start out this game about 43%. The Hawks shooting their second and third free throws tonight. Yeah, looking over their percentage on the season, I think they will be thrilled with the number in terms of their free throw percentage, 79. First one falls for him. Second free throw, no good. Washington trailing. It's Meeks outside. A rebound by Carter. Unloads from nine. Here's Len. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't get the lid off. So it's Washington now. Adaransky the pass to Green. Here's Sadaransky. Len grabs the board. Len's got rebound number five here tonight. A three from Anderson. Washington with the rebound. And Meeks kicks to Mahimi. Nice ball movement by Washington. Green dishes to Meeks. And another miss by Washington. And it's the Hawks ball. 
They're on a 15 to 6 run. Delaney. Great D that time from Green. Here's Rivers. Kicks it to Meeks. Over Anderson. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. Meeks got it all tied up now for Washington. Delaney kicks to Plumley. Plumley sets the pick for Anderson. Anderson the screen. Carter with it. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Charlotte. And the rejection by Mahimi. Rivers against Carter. Rivers passes to Mahimi. Here's Green. Buries the 20-footer. And the Wizards lead by two. And a smooth jump shot from the veteran Green there. These are looks he nails consistently. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Wizards out front. They lead by a bucket. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere. And a chance to hear from Bradley Beal. He came from a football family in St. Louis, but said his mother introduced him to the game of basketball at a young age. She definitely put the ball in my hands. She's the one who taught me my form. I followed through, and, and still to this day, she yells at me if I miss a shot. So she's kind of a perfectionist, and she definitely taught me how to shoot. She can shoot it, and she still to this day thinks she can shoot better than me. <laughs> Maybe some other NBA players should be practicing with Bradley Beal's mom because she uh, has definitely honed something special into him. To be sure. I'm just not sure some of the more delicate NBA egos could handle her trash talking once she beats them in a game of horse. And the second quarter getting underway. No team gaining an edge so far. And what stands out to you from Washington in this one? Hustling on that offensive glass. That, that's led to a number of second chance points. Well, obviously, that was the game plan coming in. Be physical right off the rip. Dwayne Dedman is out there with Plumley. And there's Anderson. And there's Carter. And it's Delaney in at the one spot. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Tipped away. And Zedaransky kicks to Meeks. Four on the shot clock. Out of bounds. Wizards ball as Washington keeps possession. So it's Washington now. Mahimi kicks to Meeks. Three on the clock. And it's just one of those days, guys. He has just struggled to shoot the basketball. Carter outside. Out to the wing. Pass to Dedman. He dishes it to Carter. Over Rivers. Offensive rebound. The shot's good from Plumley. Plumley's got his first bucket of the night. And look at that. That's just a great all-around play. Getting into position for the offensive rebound. Finishing strong with a putback. Here's Rivers. He feeds it to Mahimi. And Mahimi with the stuff. Yeah, and guys, right now, the defense mentally not there. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, you're right. Almost a free run for him there. Well, yeah, and you have to give him credit, too. Makes the right read go straight to the rim. For Atlanta, they've gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Carter kicks to Delaney. Here's the screen. Anderson outside. Shot clock at six. From 
deep three-point range. Rebound, Washington. Green's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Sadaransky, the pass to Green, goes up and lays it nice and easy. And it's a four-point Wizards lead. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Deadman kicks to Carter. The dish to Anderson. Now the pass to Deadman. Back to Anderson. Here's Plumley. And a look now at the four areas where shots can come from. The paint, mid-range, and shots from deep all broken down for the Hawks. And, and really, there's just such a lack of scoring for them from out at the top of the arc in, in terms of three-point range. And in today's game, you have to get scoring from the three-point range. And that area out above the free-throw line extended is a real weak spot for them so far. And the first one drops. And Chris, power forwards today shoot a lot more three-pointers. If you played today, uh, I think you'd be incredibly effective in that role. How do you think you'd be in that role? Oh, yeah, I, I think that that's something I would have definitely have fun and relished in. I, I did shoot threes a couple of seasons uh, in Washington and was pretty successful at that, but the style of play was just so different then. Uh, big men were asked to stay in the post and there was a lot more work in the post, uh, a lot more pressure on the big guy to get to the free throw line to wear down the defense. So the whole game was different then. Uh, the big man kind of ruled the game. Today it's a point guard's game, and so what's great is I'd have to step out to give the point guard a lot more room to drive to take a shot blocker away or because there aren't any shot blockers. And so I definitely would love to hang out in that corner and shoot that easy three or at the top uh, after a pick and roll and pop right back. That would have been a lot of fun. Plus it would give you freedom because when you can shoot that Jimmy like that, you got a nice wet jump shot. It allows that pump fake uh, to work all day. So I would have pump fake a lot from that three point line and dunked on a lot of people. So that would have been fun to have that freedom uh, as they as they do today. Just like it's fun watching these young guys let it fly from that three point line. And get a load of that move. We don't get to see plays like that very often. No, we don't. Sailing in off the baseline for the reverse stuff. Plumley with the screen. There's the pick. Vicious to Prince. The shot goes down and he gets this game back to even. Prince has got his first three points of the game. And you can see there the defender gets caught up on the pick. Team ball. Great execution on offense. Everyone working together. You wish you could have that on every play. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is. And he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Baysmore dishes to Prince. Pass to Lynn. Now the feed to Baysmore. Down low, Deadman. Green with the block. Outside, Beal. And it's sent back by Plumley. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jeff Green. That'll be his second foul of the game. Collins checked in for Miles Plumley. And a change for the Wizards. Markeith Morris has checked in for Green. Atlanta's gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Baysmore passes to Deadman. There's the pick. Right wing in a wide open look for Lynn. The offensive rebound. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And you know what? Very close to a three point play right there. The Hawks have made three of five free throw attempts. And that one falls for Collins. Come 
good on both. Now, here's Porter. He's coming off a 16-point game against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. Out to the right wing. Here's Wall. And, oh, boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot, too. I think everyone can now agree that John Wall is one of the better point guards in the NBA. No doubt. At this point, when you factor in his production, He's got to be in the top five, if not top three guards in the league. One of the better passers we have as well. It's just hard to find guards that can create so easily the way Wall can. Well, there are a lot of incredible athletes in the NBA, but Chris, in terms of pure up and down speed, John Wall might be the best. Oh, and it seems like Wall almost does that once a game, doesn't it? I mean, in the open floor, he can just run by most guards, and he's great at controlling his speed and changing direction. Inside, and it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Looking at some numbers for Dwight Howard, just an incredible month of basketball. He's right around 13 points a night, 20 rebounds, and over two and a half blocks. What incredible numbers! He has been a beast. Yeah, impossible to check right now. Gentlemen, he's on a roll like shot. this. Not much you can do. Stop. Shot. And he knocks down the first one. And Chris, so many of us involved with the NBA, either as broadcasters or players, had a moment where they just knew that this was the game for us. Did you ever have that moment? And if so, Chris, when did you fall in love with the game of basketball? Wow, that's a great question, Kevin. I, you know what? I have so many signature moments in my life that continually made me fall in love. I don't know if there's just one. You know, I remember... For instance, Isaiah Thomas, after he won the All-Star game, I believe it was like uh, 86, 87, and after he had his mom come up, and his mom did the interview with him, and I was there with my mom, and I remember thinking to myself, man, that would be a cool moment. Or watching Magic Johnson hoist up a championship because he was from Michigan, and I had followed his career the whole time, and so watching him win the championship. Or how about those great Magic Johnson, Larry Bird commercials back when they had they got out the limo and were looking at each other, <laughs> you know, that type of stuff. Stuff. So, uh, man, so many great moments, man. I, I can't, I can't pick one, but uh, there's so many great moments. Great moments indeed. Prince kicks to Lynn. Passes it to Deadman. Lynn against Wall. Out of bounds. Washington takes possession. All right, a chance to look at the numbers for Deadman. A wonderful string of games he's put together here lately. Sixth in blocks seventh in steals and with a top 20 ranking in field goal percentage you put the ball in his hands and he converts at a remarkable rate and his ability to patrol the lane is a difference maker for that team exceptional timing and, and anticipation that's why he's a top 10 shot block yep it counts now it's a six point wizards lead and, and doing much better now in that first quarter converting less than 30 percent of their field goal opportunities Bouncing back nicely here in the second. Lynn dishes to Prince. Trying his luck deep. Lynn's shot is off. And, and not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. And the foul on Kent Bazemore. That's his first foul. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Alex Lenz checked in for Dwayne Dedman. Outside, Beal. Porter in the corner. Here's Wall. That ball is in the basket. Now he's shot six and made three of them. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Lynn with it, now guarded by Porter. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. It's going to be on John Wall. Yeah, you, you have to admire the aggressiveness of, of Lynn, constantly looking to draw the foul on his shot. For Atlanta, they have had seven opportunities at the free throw line and made good on five of them. And the first one at the line is good. So he picks up just one from the line that time. 
and Lynn has really carved out a nice role for himself in our league. An effective two-way player who can score, rebound, pass, and defend. And I love the momentum he's building. Last game, he was just as dominant. And defensively, you know he's feeling good right now. And, and, and as the opposing team, you better adjust your scheme accordingly. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And Washington called for the foul. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. In their last contest, guys, he was unconscious from the foul line. The first free throw is good. Oh, well, after getting to the stripe in the first quarter, he's definitely been more assertive driving inside. Both free throws good from Lynn. Wizards leading by seven. Wall passes to Porter. Wall against Lynn. There's Porter with the three. Here's Howard. He kicks to Morris. Outside Beal. Porter dishes to Howard. Lynn grabs the board. Lynn's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. There's Lynn with the three. Rebound by the Wizards. As he continues to rack up the misses from three-point range, he still appears undeterred. He, he's going to keep firing from out there. And Beal kicks to Morris. Outside Porter. Here's the screen. Back to Howard. Fader on the way. Rejected by Len. Now here's Bazemore. He's covered by Beal. In the corner, it's Lynn. Lock at six. To the paint. Here's Lynn. Lynn. Dwight Howard pulls it in. Washington leading now by seven. And Porter, here we go. Can't hit from in close. Atlanta's gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. Hope they get it back. A nice shot by Lynn. Lynn's got eight here in the quarter. And the way Lynn picks his spots, just knowing his place in the offensive schemes and scoring well as a result. To the middle, here's Howard, and it's Howard finishing it off. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Now Lynn, 20 points for him last game against Charlotte. Lynn sets a screen for Prince. Second chance shot. That one's good. And the Washington lead is cut to just five points on the basket from Len. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the D thinking jump shot. Gave a little pump fake. And then off to the races. So timeout called here. The first for Washington. And they're committing an awful lot of fouls here. And not of the good variety. You don't want to give up easy layups. Sure, but it's been a nonstop parade to the foul line. Atlanta making some changes. Carter, he's checked in for Prince. Anderson comes in for Kent Bazemore. And it's Malcolm Delaney in for Jeremy Lin. And a new group getting ready to come in for Washington. Mahaney's checked in for Howard. Austin Rivers comes in for Otto Porter Jr. Jody Meeks, he's checked in for Beal. And Zedaransky subbed in for John Wall. Here's Delaney. A minute 42 left in the first half. Here's Len. No good off the front iron. He's still looking to get into a groove this quarter. Here's Rivers. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And there's the foul. This goes against Atlanta. We have to give a lot of credit to Austin Rivers for how he has improved since his rookie season. And one big reason for Rivers earning his spot is his improved efficiency had trouble shooting from the mid-range and out early on and worked on that part of his game which opened up Good everything shot. else for his skill first free throw is good 
and they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. He doesn't get the second one. The Hawks trail by nine. Feeds to Collins. Delaney, the pass to Collins. Back to Delaney. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Len sets a screen for Carter. Second shot opportunity. Len, good. Len's got four points in the quarter. They continue to be outworked and outmuscled on the backboard. Meeks, good. Yeah, after a first quarter where they struggled from long range, they've really started to get it closer to the basket. Atlanta's gotten cold from deep in the second quarter, just two of six from long range. Delaney kicks to Anderson. And the rejection by Mahimi. Morris outside. Back to Meeks. Launches it. The shot will not fall. So the Hawks will take it the other way. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Washington leading now by nine. Here's Morris. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Morris isn't afraid of getting whacked. In fact, he welcomes it when he's going up to shoot. And Morris drops them both. 19 seconds left here in the second. Here's Delaney. There's the pick. Anderson outside. Back to Delaney. And the rejection by Mahimi. They retain possession. It's good. And the Washington lead is cut down to nine in the bucket from Len. And the first half is now in the books. Wizards lead by nine. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Coach Mike Budenholzer. Coach, probably not the defensive effort you were hoping for thus far. Yeah, no, our defense isn't where it needs to be. I think they're getting open looks. We're overshifting, and then we're not committing to shooters. Um, just not a very good defensive effort so far. Mike, thanks very much for your time. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David, for that interview, and we'll see you back here after the break for third-quarter basketball. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. The first half in the books, this is Ernie Johnson. This is Shaquille O'Neal. This is Ken Smith. Welcome back. Ken? Ken, as we Ken. break down the action. Bradley Beal putting in some incredible work. He had 12 points and one assist. And taking a look at the Wizards, Shaq, what'd you think? Well, Kenny should appreciate this. I love the ball movement. They were in sync as a unit, and their assist numbers were impressive. Anytime you get five players working together like that instead of one guy doing it alone, it's always going to be a boost. That's the primary reason they're in control of the game. Talk to me, Kenny. How did you think Atlanta played? Their defensive fundamentals have been atrocious. I mean, you see guys reaching instead of moving their feet. They're not getting out the shooters. They've dug themselves a hole, and the only way to get out of it is all five guys start defending the way they should. That's it for now as the second half's just about ready to go. And the third quarter about ready to get underway. Jeremy Lin really making a difference here. And through the first two periods, it seemed he got to the paint whenever he wanted to. Just a slasher's mentality. Yeah, when you're trying to check a guy like that, you have to move your feet laterally, defensively. That didn't happen. So on the floor for Washington, the explosive backcourt is Wall and Beal at the one and two. 
Porter and Morris are the forwards. And it's Howard in at the five spot. It's like Wall has a sixth sense of knowing when guys are open. Outstanding to quickly getting them the ball. And here's Bazemore. Outside, Lynn. Six on the shot clock. Shoots off the screen. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. Lynn's got 18 points. And really respect the confidence of Lynn. His teammates love how he runs these pick and roll plays. Here's Porter. And Washington again with the bucket. And he can smell blood in the water. Excellent finish. Oh, yeah, up by double digits. They're trying to keep the momentum, keep the foot on the neck. That's his focus right now. There's a screen. Back to Bazemore. And the dunk by Bazemore. And a sturdy screen set for him that time. And he doesn't fool around, just straight to the rim for the finish. No way for his man to get around that one. That's, that's for sure. You're right. They are precise in how they ran that play. Exceptional timing. That's all good stuff. Parked down low that time, three. and he got the three-second goal. A chance here to check out John Wall. He's been fantastic over the last 10 games or so. He's averaging 20 points, nine assists, and two rebounds. What incredible numbers. He has been a beast. Yeah, impossible to check right now. When he's on a roll like this, not much you can do to stop him. Outside, Lynn, poke loose, and the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Wall. And we see a chart here for the shooting performance so far for Anderson. Well, they're going to have to look elsewhere for points because he has pulled a Houdini and, and completely disappeared from the offense in this one. Just no production from him, and, and nothing seems to be in rhythm for him right now. Just not his night. Lynn. You love the defensive effort. Morris giving every ounce of energy he has to throw shooters off. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Well, you look at Marquise Morris, and you see a player, Greg, who is finally meeting his potential. And, and you know what? Give credit to Morris, because he's fallen in line with the team and the staff here. I think he's always had the talent to be an impact player. It just took a structured situation for him to really flourish, and I think he's found a home here in Washington. You know, I like Morris. He's a valuable contributor on both ends of the floor. Now, he's a sniper from deep, and he can definitely lock you up on D as well. Lynn dishes to Deadman. Wall against Lynn. Kicks it to Bazemore. Beyond the arc. Here's Collins. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And, and that's a great play on the backboard for him. I mean, it's what we expect. All his second chance points do not come by accident. Morris against Collins. Morris with the bucket. Oh, they can't miss their third make in a row to begin the half. And now the first timeout called here for the Hawks. Yeah, you know, some of it's shot selection, some just bad luck, and they just can't get anything going. Well, this is the dilemma as a coach. You wonder, do I need to call a timeout here? Do I need to settle these guys down? Should I let them play through it? Jeff Green has checked in for Markeith Morris. The Hawks trail by 11. Baysmore with it. He's making his presence felt offensively with his scoring average up there at almost 13 points a game. Then the pass to Deadman. Collins a screen on Porter. Here's Prince. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. Oh, and chalk that one up to the poor screen. He never gets planted. And the defender gets right around it. Detman with the block. They recover it. Here's Porter. Porter can't get that one to fall. The Hawks have gone three of six in the third quarter. 50% from the field. That one good for two. Prince has got five points so far. Washington leading now by nine. Outside Beal. Back to Wall. It's Beal on the wing. He dishes it to Howard. 
Beal drives in. Collins grabs the miss. Collins has got his third rebound tonight. Porter against Prince. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. Continuing to show activity on the offensive glass. Second chance buckets have been huge. And Wall kicks to Howard. Green with a screen for Howard. Here's Wall. That's good. And so Howard with the assist. Howard's got his third assist on the night. Look, the fearlessness of Wall is, is fantastic. Doesn't back down from anyone, even when he's deep in the paint. Outside, Lynn off the screen, and there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And sometimes when you want something done, you got to do it yourself. That dunks the shot in the arm they need to really cut into that lead. Well, Greg, it's certainly got everybody on their bench up and off their seats and cheering. Well, Kevin, you know momentum is a fickle thing. Sometimes one simple boost in confidence can change the complexion of an entire game. Whoa, with a block. Of the height Wall possesses, it allows him to get up to these type of blocks. Shooters have to be aware of his reach. And Bazemore kicks to Collins. Here's Deadman. And the reach of Howard affecting that shot. Deadman dishes to Lynn. They shoot again. Rebounded by the Wizards. Howard's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Outside Beal. Shoots from 12. Tries again. It's Porter. Outside. Drains it from beyond the arc. Porter's got five points now this quarter. Uh, when Porter first came into the league, he didn't have this out, shot. Now he's a knockdown perimeter shooter. Started. Atlanta calls timeout. And let's take a quick look at the point guards this year racking up the most steals per game. Number one, John Wall. And despite the offensive responsibilities that come with, with being a point guard, I think he may enjoy the defensive aspect of the game even more. Well, to me, that's what makes him such a unique player because not everyone likes playing D. But this guy, he truly loves it. Here's Porter. The shot from the low post is good. Porter's got seven points. After going scoreless in the first half, he has found his shot in the second. Here's Lynn, and it's sent back by Howard. No trespassing. Howard patrolling the defensive end. Washington leading now by 10. Now here's Wall. 10 points for him. Green in the post. He's guarded by Collins, and it's slammed in by Howard. A little bit of a throwback evening for Howard. Has all of his moves working here tonight. For Atlanta, they've gone 7 for 16 in the second half from the field, shooting a bit under 50%. It's stolen by Green. And now here comes Wall, leading the break. And Wall slams it home. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. Deadman kicks it to Bazemore. Out of bounds. Washington takes possession. Let's check out the Eastern Conference standings now that we're in the new year. Taking a look at Washington. Right now, they've compiled the sixth best record in the conference. And, of course, there's the Hawks, ten games behind. And seeing where Washington is, this hasn't been the breakout season that many were predicting, but they're still very much in the hunt for a high postseason seed, and that will keep them focused here during the season's final stages. And while they might not be on top of the standings, you get the feeling that they believe that they are. Here's Porter. Detman with the block. Out of bounds. Wizards ball as Washington keeps possession. Carter, he's checked in for the Hawks. Malcolm Delaney comes in for Kent Bazemore. And a new group getting ready to come in for Washington. Mahimi's checked in for Howard. Austin Rivers comes in for Otto Porter Jr. Jody Meeks, he's checked in for Bradley Beal. And Zedaransky subbed in for John Wall. Block at two. 
He took good advantage of that screen. Eight points for Jeff Green. Oh, great ball movement there. The Hawks trail by 16. Lynn kicks to Prince. Back to Lynn. Banked in off the glass. Lynn's got 22. And, and Lynn is just fearless, always looking to get as close to the bucket as he can. Rivers against Carter. Rivers kicks to Mahimi. Here's Sodoronsky. Rebound Atlanta. Deadman's got rebound number eight now on the night. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Well executed, and, and then you love the strong finish. So many fast breaks now ending the three-point shot. Good to see them taking it to the rack. Taking a look here at some numbers for Prince. Over the last month, getting it done. Averaging about 15 points, five rebounds, and three assists. And guys, he's making winning plays. It's as simple as that. Not a star player per se, but he makes his presence felt. Well, yeah, lately he's been overachieving a little bit. Hopefully this is a sign of greater things to come. That free throw, no good. So for the Hawks, Alex Lenz checked in for Dwayne Dedman. Plumley comes in for Torian Prince. And it's Anderson in for Jeremy Lin. And he's good on the second. The Hawks trail by 13. Delaney kicks to Len. Good for another field goal. Number five in the night. Five for ten shooting. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Sadaransky, the pass to Green. Sinks the three-pointer. Green's got five points in the quarter. And, and Green's become a, a dependable three-point threat. If you don't get a hand in his face, he can certainly knock those down. Atlanta calls timeout. And Zadaransky, a player who was drafted back in 2012, but then stashed in Europe as he developed his game. Oh, yeah, he's known for his strong work ethic, and, and it's a bit of a grinder for this team. He knew he had a lot of work ahead of him to adjust to the NBA. He's committed, though, to staying in the league. He's not thinking of returning to Europe. Here's Delaney. Pass to Anderson. From 13, and it's Rivers with the rebound. A decent attempt at the rim right there. You're just simply off right now. Here's Meeks. Rebound by the Hawks. And after this one, they're home against Minnesota. They'll find themselves in the middle of this string of three straight at home. And Anderson kicks to Delaney. He feeds it to Len. Two points. That one goes. Len's got 12. Well, you can't pass up a shot from such short range. And there's the pass to Sadaransky. Now, here's Meeks. Defense right on him. And count it. And a chance for one more at the free throw line. Yeah, how about that one? Able to maintain control and finish the play. This will be his third free throw shot of the game. Morris is checked in for Washington. That's good for Meeks. Here's Delaney. The dish to Plumley. Plumley sets the pick for Anderson. Anderson the screen. Back to Delaney, expanding his range. Morris with the rebound. Morris has got three rebounds now in this one. Meeks can't hit. Now I think he lets the D get to him there, and he rushes it. I mean, he has plenty of space there if he just takes his time. Delaney kicks to Len. A three from Anderson. No good on that one. And Washington the other way now. Now Rivers. He has five. 
Here's Morris. Goes straight through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. Alex Len picks one up. Okay, look. If you're going to foul Morris, you got to foul him hard. When you don't, he uses his muscle to finish over. One thirty-one left in the third. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Len passes to Delaney. Rebound by Mahimi. Washington leading now by 18. Dishes it to Meeks. Fires the three. The shot comes out. He's trying to help him add to this lead, but he just can't find his touch. It's Anderson with the drive. Meeks with the steal. 55 seconds left in the third quarter. Count that one. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Atlanta's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Delaney kicks to Len. Back to Delaney. Lock at six. Len a screen. Delaney the pass to Len. Over Mahini. Atlanta again missing. Washington's gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Rivers can't get it to go. And low percentage look on that one. Not sure what he was thinking. Well, sometimes you get a little outside of yourself. You have to be a little more disciplined. Plan a screen. Here's Delaney. To stop the drought. No good. The three quarters of play all in the books. And this one all but over already. It's the Wizards running away with it. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. Let's listen in on what Mike Budenholzer had to say to his team in the huddle. Let's get through it. Talk to each other. Chase. Be active on the ball. Maybe inside to middle. But at least do something. Not happy at all with that effort. Mike Budenholzer challenging his team to get involved. Yeah, I mean, it happens. But you can't blame him for being upset. I mean, let's see if his passion can resonate with his guys and give them some life. And we're getting underway here in the fourth quarter. The scoreboard tells the story in this matchup, but we'll see how much things change up here. We've got Miles Plumley. He's out there with Alex Len. Anderson is out there with Carter. And it's Delaney in at the point. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. A three from Morris. Drills it from outside. Morris has got 10 points in just the second half. And defensively, you have got to extend to their shooters. They have been on fire this half. Yeah, they've been tremendous from beyond the arc. It's a shift from what they did in the first two quarters, though. Anderson outside. Here's Len. And, uh, oh, here, there's a whistle. He was going up for a layup. And while it looked like there was some contact, I wasn't sure they were going to call it a foul shot or not. But sure enough, they have. So he'll head to the free throw line. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. That free throw good from Len. And so it's Washington with it. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. To the inside. Stolen by Len. Ball stolen. Knocks it loose. Now the Hawks moving it the other way. 
They get the rebound. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. That's good from Plumley. Collins checked in for Atlanta. John Walls checked in for Washington. Plumley hits them both. Wizards leading by 16. And here's Walls. To the paint and Mahimi with the stuff look the unselfish nature of wall he's always looking to get his teammates going Delaney kicks to Plumlee back to Delaney there's the screen here's Anderson the Hawks again can't hit Washington's gotten the three-point bug tonight they've taken 15 shots outside the arc six of 15 four on three as they bring it up here's Collins that's in there. Carter with the assist. And how about the fast hands and then getting right out in transition? I mean, look, I was going to say, you're attacking on both ends, quickly going from defense to offense. Back to Rivers. Morris outside. Nice ball movement by Washington. Mahimi, and yes, it's good. And some guys just have a nose for scoring, and this one couldn't have been any easier. I mean, I don't know whether to say it's amazing or sad, but you're down double digits and you still allow an uncontested layup. Where is the pride? Where is your heart? Washington leading now by 16. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Meeks with it, working on Anderson. Fires from deep. Gets a hand on it, controls the rebound, and puts it back up and in. And the Wizards lead by 18. Oh, and a nice job of turning that miss into two points on the tip end. Hustle points, I believe they call them. Hustle points right there. Atlanta calls timeout. And when you take a look at that shot chart, the amount of misses lately, really unbelievable. Man, this is a joke. I mean, there have been some glimpses of hope, but they've been few and far between. Looking at who's out there now for the Hawks. Dwayne Dedman's checked in for Plumlee. Torian Prince comes in for Vince Carter. Kent Bazemore's checked in for Anderson. And it's Jeremy Lin in for Malcolm Delaney. Collins dishes to Prince. Just five to shoot. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Oh, that's some fancy ball handling right there since when does he take guys off the dribble? Wall passes to Porter. Well, it took some time to develop, but Otto Porter is starting to put everything together. He was considered a bit of a project when he came into the NBA drafted third overall, but all the promises now being fulfilled as he is a great do-it-all forward. And the first one drops. You know, the versatility of Porter is huge. I mean, he's an outstanding perimeter defender, in addition also to being a proven scorer. And Porter drops them both. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Lynn kicks to Collins. Lynn with it. Pass to Collins. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Oh, fellas, that was a vicious two-hand monster slam. Guys, I don't think there was anyone who could have stopped him on that one. And Howard has it in the corner, and a wide-open look for Porter. And again, Washington, no good. And you forget at times that Otto Porter was taken third overall, Chris, as you mentioned. He's shown great development. He's had a big jump in play year after year. Yeah, but so often guys who are considered projects that are picked early, they never develop. Porter was a risk, but made sure he lived up to his draft spot. Outside, Lynn. The feed now to Collins. Prince outside. 
And it's sent back by Morris. Oh, man, look at Morris use his reach to turn away a shot. He's excellent at cornering shooters and sending their shots back. Wall against Lynn. Wall dishes to Morris. No good. He's missed three, and he's made four of his seven. Really surprising to see the huge edge they have in rebounds, given what the scoreboard says. And he's fouled on the shot. One free throw coming up. And, and guys, I like what they're doing here in the second half, getting a lot of production in the paint and, and still trailing, but, but starting to show some grit down low. And that one falls for Lynn. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. Now here's Beal. He's covered by Bazemore. Beal the pass to Morris. And stolen by Bazemore. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. And going into last season, Kent Bazemore commanding a salary in excess of $17 million. Greg, how did an undrafted player coming off his first starting season in the league get that kind of salary? The timing is everything. <laughs> Reflection of the market. Well, you remember you had that huge spike in the cap. It's also a bet on his upside and work ethic. And with Bazemore, you see that the dedication to improve is there, and that's what made the Hawks comfortable with the contract. And he sinks the second. So it's Washington now. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. The Oklahoma City Thunder will be in town for the next one. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Beal's shot is good. And the Wizards lead by 12. Oh, you love how Bill rises over the D. He loves out muscling them at every turn. There's the pick. Lynn with it. He's picked up by Wall. Porter against Prince. And it's sent back by Howard. And it's Howard finishing it off. Oh, you allow Howard to get in close. He's going to punch that ticket. The Hawks have gone 8 of 13 from the field since the start of the fourth, sinking the majority of their shots. And Bazemore kicks to Prince. Collins, a screen on Porter. Prince, Morris with the block. They recover it. There it goes. It's in, and the Wizards' lead is cut down to just 12 points on the bucket from Collins. Lobbed up there for Howard. Hammers the alley-oop through. And Howard has great timing on these alley-oops. As long as the pass is spot on, he's clear for takeoff. Hawks shooting just 39% from the field, struggling to find that net. Collins kicks it to Bazemore. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Passes it to Collins. Pulls up on the elbow. And he gets that one to go off the front iron. Collins has got 10 points in the quarter. Oh, this guy, his motor is always the same. No matter what the score of the game is, he always remains aggressive. In the corner, it's Morris. Let's the three fly. Trills the three-pointer. Morris has got 21. Well, that lead's only going to keep growing if he keeps shooting like he has so far. Lynn kicks to Deadman, feeds to Bazemore. They set the pick. Back to Lynn. Rebound, Washington. Morris has got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Beal. Deadman with the block. Power dishes to Morris. On the wing, Porter. And it's Otto Porter with the foul. That's his first foul. In this quarter alone, they've yielded five points off of those turnovers. The Hawks trail by 15 to the left side wing. Here's Deadman. Yes, that goes in. And they've really gotten on track here in the second half. After that shaky start, the field goal percentage steadily climbing. They couldn't make anything in that first break. Wall passes to Porter. Here's Beal. And a big pounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. And the Wizards lead by 15. 
Lynn kicks to Deadman. Prince with a screen on Howard. There's Lynn with the three. Rebounded by Howard. Howard's got his 16th rebound on the night. Wall dishes to Howard. Back to Wall. Shoots over Lynn. Wall's shot is off. Uh, you can't be missing shots like that in the post. That'll get you a spot on the bench. Prince the pass to Collins. Collins a screen on Wall. Here's Lynn. That one falls. Lynn's got 11 points here in just the second half. Okay, nice job here in the second half. Field goal percentage is way up from what it was at halftime when it was just barely above 30%. Here's Howard. Detman with the block. Baysmore for three. Washington with the rebound. Oh, man, you can't get much better look from three-point range than that one. That just wasn't in rhythm. Here's Wall. Wall missing again. The Hawks trail by 13. Here's Prince. Nice D from Porter. Oh, his head doesn't look in the game right now. He can't seem to connect on any shot he takes out there. Fouled in the act of shooting. A three-point play chance coming up. How about that amazing focus from Wall? Even when the D was roughing him up, he was still attacking the basket, keeping his eyes up. And that one falls for Wall. What about the versatility of Wall? I mean, he's a nightly double-double. He continues to get better. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Yeah, and he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Dwight Howard. And he's put on a terrific show of skill in the paint. A combination of moves, footwork, and that soft touch down low. It's all added up to one dominant performance for the big fella. On the road, in a tough atmosphere, he's taken on the role of star tonight. If one of their other players came up short, he picked up the slack to make sure they'll be walking out of here with a win. Lynn kicks to Deadman. He dishes it to Prince. Pass to Collins. Off the pick. It's not going to go for him. Good work defensively by Morris. To the inside. And stolen by Prince. They push it up for on three. Here's Collins. Second chance shot. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. First free throw is good. And so Collins nails both of them. Guys, a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, they definitely should use some clock here. Offensive rebound. The kick out to Porter. Wall against Lynn. Wall dishes to Howard. Prince against Porter. And here's Wall outside. Washington gets a bat. They are really crashing the offensive glass, and it's paying off for them. And that one's good by Porter. And, and guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for Washington. And the big difference here was accuracy from three-point range. And once they started sinking shots, it really stretched out the D and created other opportunities. And any time they got space, they seemed to just knock down another triple. And now on the year, this will take them to 28 wins. And they put themselves into the driver's seat in regards to the season series with this team. Tonight's win will give them a 2-1 to one edge with only one left to play. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Howard.
Well, he had a hand in just about everything they did tonight. I mean, he just didn't take a single possession off on either end. He was a complete package. Shots good by Deadman. Well, you can't pass up a shot from such short range. Washington controlling the game. Outside wall. 35 seconds left in the game. The kick out to Porter. Six to shoot. Right side wall. Shoots over Lynn. That misses off the backboard. Atlanta with the ball. Shoots a three. Here's Collins. And they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds. But they still come up empty. Now here's Wall. And so it's Washington easily grabbing this one. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. Mm, they sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks. With John Wall, John, it sure looks like the chemistry is coming together. What is the bond like with your teammates? Uh, we enjoy playing with each other. Uh, we have great chemistry. We all work hard, and we know how much we mean to each other, how much we work every day, and uh, we're just trying to keep getting better each game. Well, the work is paying off, John. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it, folks. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Chris Weber. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. So long.